Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to use the PowerPoint eyedropper tool like a pro. Now, what is PowerPoint eyedropper tool? It is a wonderful tool that allows you to pick the color from one object and apply it onto another object flawlessly. Now, let me show you how the eyedropper tool works so that you can clearly understand the value of this beautiful tool. Let us say that this is one of the shapes in which I want to fill the color of this blue. And I'm going to pretend that this is a logo that I want to work with. And this blue color here needs to be filled in this shape. So what I will do is I'll select the shape here, then go to shape fill, go to the eyedropper tool in the shape fill option, click on it. And as soon as I did that, you can see that my cursor now turns into an eyedropper. Now I move my cursor onto the specific color that I want to pick up and you can see that now my cursor gives me some important information like what is the color that I am, I am choosing and what is the RGB values of the color that I have picked up and as soon as I click on that specific color you can see that the shape that I had initially chosen is now filled with that specific color. Now let me do this demonstration once again, but this time I want to fill the outline color with this red color here. So I'm going to select the shape, go to shape outline, go to eyedropper, I move the cursor over the specific red color and now I get the information about what the color is, like it is red and RGB values are R is 230, G is 52 and B is 42. Now I'm going to just click on it and instantly the outline color is changed to the specific red color that we have picked up from. Now this works beautifully whether you want to fill the color of a particular shape or you want to fill the outline color or even if you want to change the color of the fonts of a certain text. For example, here is a sample text here and let us assume that I want to fill the font color with this green color instead of the default black color. All I need to do is to click on the bounding box or I can select the text that I want to uh, change the font color of. Then I go to the format option, go to text fill option here, and then I go to the eyedropper tool, and then I go to uh, the green color here, and then instantly the font color is changed to the specific green color that I had picked up from the logo. Can you see how easy it is? This ease with which you can pick up specific colors from an object makes this such a wonderful design tool when you are designing your PowerPoint slides. Now let me show you some useful applications of this wonderful tool. Let us say that this is one of the logos that we are going to work with and I'm going to select this and I'm going to copy this logo onto the graphic that I've got here. Now this is one of the templates that I have picked up from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. Comprehensive all-in-one bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that help you to take your presentations to a whole new level. I will leave a link to comprehensive all-in-one bundle in the description area below this video so you can explore more about this beautiful PowerPoint templates bundle. Now the way in which this particular template works is like this. As you can see here, this is a curved roadmap. On a click, I bring in the various milestones so that I can explain my journey to my audience. Now, I want to change the colors of these milestones based on the colors that I've got here in the logo. And let us say the starting point needs to be in blue color, which is this one, and the ending point needs to be in the red color, which is this one. So how do I do it? First, I select this object here. This is a group. Then I'm going to select the specific object for which I want to change the color. So I have selected that. Then I want to use this blue color. So I go to shape fill, go to eyedropper tool, and move my cursor over that blue color, and instantly, my color of this milestone has changed. Of course, I can always change the number color here, the font color with white so that it's much more readable. I'm going to do a very similar thing for the end point as well. So I'm going to select the specific object that needs to change the color of, then go to shape fill, eyedropper, and then move my cursor to the red color. And instantly I have changed the shape of this milestone. 
and of course as always i will change the font color so that it's much easier for the audience to read now i can delete this logo and now when i go to the slideshow mode you can see that our uh, new graphic has the kind of colors that we want to have uh, based on our logo beautiful isn't it now let me show you another beautiful application of the eyedropper tool eyedropper tool allows you to pick up professional color palettes so that you can very easily change the colors of the graphics that you have on your slides. Now, let me first explain to you what I mean by professional color palettes. There are some sites like say colorlovers.com. You can always go to this particular site and see the various palettes that are available. These color palettes are designed by professional artists and they know how exactly the various colors work together. And these professional color palettes can now be used to brighten up your own graphics. Now, let us say I want to pick up this particular color palette and I want to use this to improve the look and feel of one of my templates. Now, let me show you how it is done. Now, let us go to the diagram here and I'm going to keep this particular window and this PowerPoint side by side. The way I will do this is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say show windows side by side. This is a very beautiful option that allows you to have two windows side by side and here I don't really require this particular window. So I can always resize or readjust the size of any of these windows. So let us do that once again. Let us go to show window side by side. Now we only have two windows that we work on. Now here is the diagram that I want to change the color of and here is my color palette. As I said earlier, the color palette that I would like to work with is this one. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to change the color of this sphere. So I'm going to select the specific sphere here and then let me go to shape fill, go to eyedropper tool and now my cursor has turned into an eyedropper. I am going to keep my left mouse button clicked and as I keep my left mouse button clicked, I am going to move my cursor to the specific color that I want to pick up and as soon as I find the specific color, I am going to release my mouse button and instantly the color is changed. Now let us do that to the next sphere. So I am going to select this color. You can see that it is in a golden color here. Let me go to shape fill, pick up the eyedropper tool and my cursor changes. I'm going to keep the left mouse button clicked as I move my cursor to the specific color that I want to pick up and I'm going to release my cursor and instantly you can see that the color of the sphere exactly matches this color. Now let us do that finally so that you can understand one more time. I have selected the sphere, go to shape fill, go to eyedropper tool, the cursor changes, left mouse button clicked and then I'm going to move my cursor to the specific color and I'm going to release the mouse button and I've got the color changed. And now I'm going to go back to my uh, PowerPoint window. So I just am going to click on this maximize button and now I have got the uh, slide readily visible. Now, as you can see here, these colors are picked up from the professional color palette we found in colorlovers.com. So that is how you pick up professional color palettes to make your diagrams look very beautiful. Now, the best part is once you pick up a certain color from a specific source using eyedropper tool, that new color that you picked up will always be available for use for multiple locations. For example, let us select this shape. Let us go to shape fill and now you can see that these colors that I had picked up are now available in recent colors option. This is the last one that I picked up and it is available here. The one before that is available here and the one before that is available here. So at any point of time, if I want to reuse one of the colors that I had earlier picked up, like say this one, I just need to go here and click and I would be able to apply the same color. So that is the beauty of this wonderful tool called eyedropper tool. So let us quickly recap the power of this useful tool called eyedropper tool. You would be able to use eyedropper tool to change the shape color, outline color or the font color from any specific picture or an object. Now you can use this to make your diagrams look in line with your logo or your theme colors. 
you would be able to use eyedropper tool to pick up professional color palettes from sites like colorlovers.com so that your diagrams look much different from the usual default colors that come with powerpoint now did you like the tutorial that you learned today if you did then you will really like our ramgopal's powerpoint mastery program this program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative powerpoint training program online the program has more than 650 step by step video tutorials more than 215 text based lessons and downloadable files so that you understand and master powerpoint end to end now this beautiful and useful program is available to you as a subscription option as well yes for as low as $25 a month you get instant access to all the mastery training all the work files and all the text based lessons this is the best value that you can ever imagine when it comes to learning powerpoint so i highly recommend that you go to presentationprocess.com/ramgopalspowerpointmasteryprogram and enroll into this program and see how this program works for you for a month if you like the program you can continue to stay or else you can always cancel at any time and you will not be billed any further If you're someone who is serious about improving your PowerPoint skills then this is the place that you need to come to. As a thank you for watching this video this far, I'm happy to invite you to our email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. This is an extremely popular email course. The first lesson alone has more than 193 Facebook comments. It's a program that you must go through if you really want to improve the look and feel of your PowerPoint presentations. This email course is totally free for you to join and you can join the program by clicking on the link here. So please click on the link, enroll to the email course and I'll see you inside the course. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.